Hey, what's going on, everybody? Boylan here, and welcome back to another episode of Blogs with Boylan Friday. Now, today has been a bit of an interesting week, so to speak. Before we get into the blog for today, I do want to give a special nod to the closure of Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth. And <laughs> some of you might have known that I did do a second side channel for this last year. The game released in June uh, of 2023, and I stopped playing it in like September, October. So I didn't last too, too long. Capital Games really shit the bed on this one. And yep, they they haven't updated since mid-December and they decided to close it down. So if you had been playing it, you know, that, that sucks. You know, I know that there were actually a handful of people from Marvel Strike Force that were playing it, you know, and uh, maybe they'll be coming back. And who knows, uh, it's probably not going to make a huge impact on the MSF scene. But I just wanted to raise this anyways and give my five seconds of silence. Okay, you know, I just wanted to like give a nod to that because, you know, I did play it for a while. So if you're ready to go to hear about everything there is to know today, plus we're going to be talking about some data mines also upcoming uh, that we know for the new March month long, then let's boil this down. Okay, and I want to just cover this really quickly. I did this in at the back of my last video. The vote actually f resets at midnight Pacific time. So if you're a little bit confused, because I had this asked to me, you know, like, when does the time actually reset? You know, so it's actually midnight Pacific time. So just be aware of that. You know, you some people may have gotten eight votes instead of seven votes, you know, depending on what time zone you were and when you're available to click on this. But yeah, make sure you're doing this. It's not going to matter the outcome. This like 55% Karen page. So it is what it is. The, the, you know, this team probably won't be out until like, Maybe even Halloween because it's vampire related. Who knows? But anyways, if you want to get in on that, make sure you do that. I also want to talk about the free claims. Really important. Make sure you're doing this. You know, some people are like, why am I so far behind and paint the town red? You know, maybe you were collecting your, you know, your, your stuff online, but there's still a lot of stuff that you can get for free. The, the, the half of the orb there, which is every single day. Also, the free claim Friday for today is five Black Knight shards, 16.8K of the currency, and then one full orb as well. So there's lots of stuff here. Make sure you don't forget. Let's talk about the weekly blog. Now, it's possible, actually, the data mine stuff may be included here because it is going to involve star brand. If not... We will discuss it after this. So let's zoom in a little bit and see what we have. War season rewards updates with Captain America diamonds. Well, we know that they kind of like are shuffling diamonds out of the raid season and into the war season. So it is what it is there. I don't think I'm actually going to be getting any diamonds from war season because I think it's a lot harder than it was when it was part of the raid stuff. Starbrand's initial release. So his offer is going to be February 26th. When is that? Uh, that's on Monday, actually. So it's going to be then. And then we have the Black Knight event starting. And this one's going to be huge because you're going to, if you follow the data mines or some of my past videos, basically you're going to get Black Knight shards from doing a combination of the event, which is basically needing to earn these orb fragments, which you're then going to get from Sword Satellite. But also within Sword Satellite, there is going to be ranked rewards of shards for Black Knight. Also, there is the web milestone for incursion energy. And the reason why I'm telling you this now is I think it's a pretty good idea to start your incursion energy so when you hit your cap start refreshing the 50s now 50 50 50 50 50 you know you can do that four times every single day until the event goes live on monday i think it's worth it uh the only thing that you're losing out on is some points for the current alliance based milestone which is red blooded honestly it's not a huge deal in my opinion the the point ratio is pretty bad it's like three to one but you don't get that much incursion energy anyway so it doesn't really impact this too much Maybe you won't get milestone 15 if you start hoarding all of that, but you know, or maybe my alliance just hasn't been participating as much. Either way, you know, it's not a big deal for you to miss some of this. It's better to get more ahead and as far as you can on this upcoming Black Knight event. Also, going to be a battle pass. This is the RTA, I'm pretty sure, which is featuring Sunspot. And then we have a po okay. I'm slightly afraid of that after I just blow blew tons of dark promos on super uh, on 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 Black Knight on his release recently. So one to three diamonds for Apocalypse. This is good because I've been telling people to hoard their dark diamonds. Right, that's fine. Super Scroll six and seven red. Um, like this is really great. I, I don't know how much. I don't know if this is going to change his arena viability, but obviously it will in other game modes. And we don't know what the price is, but maybe they'll tell us further down below. 
So that's interesting. Uh, quick rumble with Gamma. Uh, inboxes, I guess, that's going to come in. Also, I've mind to the bombs sometime next week. So that's good if you've been saving your orbs. I would personally probably save your orbs for when out of time eventually goes in there. I think that might be a bit better value, but that's just me. Minions being removed from premium and basic orbs. That's huge. Wow. No way. That's crazy. I wonder what they're going to do with that. They don't really, you don't really need the minions anymore though, because they kind of, they kind of removed the necessity for that when they got rid of Kree minions from Nick Fury from the rework, the legendary events. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm curious <laughs> what they're going to do with that. Star brand and the pact agreed. So I'm just going to be skipping this. You guys know it's the costume for Green Goblin Classic. It's whatever, right? Like, I don't care about this. So we're just going to skip ahead. You know, if you want to buy his offer and get that, good for you. Friday free claim. I already mentioned that. The red letter day and sword satellite. So this is really important. Uh, high stakes space mission for sword satellite for your chance to recruit Black Knight. As a refresher, sword satellite has 40 floors. Also, this is daily content. I just want to reiterate in case you guys missed or forgot about Sword Satellite. It's a regular tower mode. It's not like Kiln. You do have to play this every single day unless they're going to tell me otherwise. But it's something that resets at 4 p.m. Pacific at the Blitz reset timer. And, you know, you're going to have to do your roster rotations every single day. At least in the first day is the most important one because that's where you're going to get your most progress as high as you can on that day one. After that, it normally tapers down to your like best five, best 10 teams, that kind of thing. So it's a little bit slower going after that point. Uh, 40 floors of characters who possess at least five yellow. I kind of forgot about that, actually. So some characters, especially the newer characters, might not be able to be used, depending on how many stars you got on Extreme X-Men and uh, Hive Mind. I know for myself, at least yeah, my Superior Six should be usable at this point. I think they do have with the passes and whatnot are up to five yellow and, and random or fragments that I've received shards. I've received uh, losing a battle will mean falling up to five floors for the red letter day. Uh, earn as many fragments as possible by hitting key milestones. The sword satellite will be your main source of fragments inside the orbs. You'll find tons. Uh, keep their word to that one. Tons of black Knight character shards and teal gear. Cold-blooded orb fragments are found in are, are found in not only sword milestones, but also rank awards. So don't let up on the fight. So yes, sword satellite is going to be very, very important. We'll conclude on March the 3rd, which is 27 hours before the end of Red Letter Day. So that's interesting. So the event goes live on Monday. The 3rd is Sunday. So it's basically six days, I think. It's a six-day event. Rewards, uh, this gives you 24 hours to claim your rank rewards. Okay, so they're going to give fragments then as rank rewards so that it applies to the milestone then, I guess is what I'm hearing here. Along with Black Knight, you're going to get some event items and all that stuff. There is going to be additional ways, at least in the data mines, they suggested that there was going to be the orb fragments blitzing on the quick rumble next Friday. So I don't see that here, and I'm not 100% sure if that's still the case or not. Let's see what this says here. This is the red letter day chart. It's entirely milestone based on orb fragments down below. Let's go to the full screen version down here. You can see it's just that's it. It's just it actually says it's just, so it's a seven day milestone, but the fragments from Sword Satellite is six days worth. There is Black Knight shards in the milestone. There's also Red Goblin shards in the milestone. That's interesting, too. How far we're actually able to get. This is going to be very difficult to determine. And until we actually see the preview of the Sword Satellite, which may come into view on Sunday, possibly Sunday afternoon. So I may not get a video out for this until Monday, perhaps Monday morning. It depends on how much of this information that we know ahead of time. Or if somebody else knows it, I suppose. Uh, that's a thing, too, because, you know, Marvel Strike Force. Uh, otherwise, let's check some of the other things as well. There's the leaderboard chart for Red Letter Day. This is going to include diamonds for... Oh, my God. Well, you know, most of us are not going to get that anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is a Kraken Fest. Diamond Black Knights. Holy crap. I feel bad for anyone in an arena shard where this is probably going to happen. Can you imagine Diamond Black Knights? Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Dark promo credits, quite a bit of them as well. But at least for us in like the 1 to 3, 4 to 10% where some of us might land... There's still some decent rewards, but yeah, no diamond black knights for us. Sword satellite. Oh, wait, never mind. We might actually be able to do the, the math here with satellite. This is sort of satellite. Okay, up to 40. So we have the cold blooded orb. I'm assuming this is a fragment, not a thousand orbs, but hey, you know, you never know, right? With Marvel Strike Force. I'm just going to assume this is fragments going all the way up to 38. 
And then after that, threshold, 4 million points. Uh, the, the interesting thing is, is that how it worked? Was it just flat for clearing the floors? I thought it was milestone based for the, they're not the floor based for the rewards. I, you know, it's been a while. I can't even remember. I have to go back and check my sort of satellite stuff. But either way, it looks like if you're able to get to floor 38, which I don't know, some of us might be able to, then you'll get that there and you get a diamond orb at and 5 million gold actually at floor 40. So let's jump back. What else is left? The leaderboard for sword satellite. Oof. Uh, this is going to be more fragments. Okay, so that's where the bulk of this is going to come from. So you're going to get from just playing Sword Satellite, but there's a huge, and this is going to touch, there's going to be a huge amount of orb fragments in here. Diamonds for Nakia, which is interesting for people in the top 10,000. Why are they ranking in the top 10,000? Rather, that, 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 That's really strange, I think. I've never seen them do that high before. I've seen them do like 3,000, but I've never seen them do like 10,000. That's crazy. So maybe I will get a, a diamond Nakia and Black Panther. Hey, oh, and some gold. And uh, I'm going to aim for the top 10,000, I guess, and, and get, you know, 11 cold-blooded orbs and hope for the best. So let's go back to this one. This is the red-blooded, the red-letter day chart. And so the, you know, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but we need to get 34,000 basically for the event item. After that, I don't know. Probably the best goal would be the Red Goblin here. This 15, these Black Knights would be great, but I don't know if we're actually going to get there. We'll have to do the math on that and see what's there. Now, I think you're... Okay, yeah, right, okay. That's what I thought. It's here. The Quick Rumble. So special one-day Blitz will be starting on March the 3rd, which is... Nah, I'm pretty sure it's next Friday. No, it's not. It's on Sunday, actually. I'm sorry. Okay. They're, they're changing the way the Blitzes work, I guess. And to avoid tiebreaker issues, Commander will be earning Red Letter Day Mouse in progress. So I think you're you're actually blitzing for orb fragments for just one day straight. You know, eight blitz rotations plus whatever blitz charges. It's going to help to break ties, I suppose. And that's how you're going to want to do it. So make sure you save up your blitz charges and go ham on next Sunday, which is in like nine days. So I'll, I'll remind you guys closer to the time in regard to that. Also, the Jam Sandwich Web Milestone event. This is the incursion energy that we were talking about as well. One incursion energy. Oh, let's go back to the full screen. One incursion energy is five to one to five. So one incursion energy is five points. This is a daily milestone up to 1600 incursion energy. So you might actually not even need to hoard that much. But 1600 divided by five is 320 incursion energy. Now, you normally get 144 free. And then 240 extra. So yeah, maybe you actually uh, don't need to hoard as much because, well, I already have more than 320. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm probably just going to still continue to, to do this for now just so I am i don't have to core later, I guess. I'm getting some value right now with Paint the Town Red actually with the coring, so I might as well just do that now uh, and have this prepared for Monday and onwards. And there's going to be a handful of fragments and milestone points as well and month-long currency in here, and some gold, actually. So it's not a terrible thing. It's just daily, and seems pretty easy to do if you're willing to spend 200 cores every single day, whether you do that now or whether or not you do that later. Uh, that's entirely up to you. Red Alert Alliance Milestone. This seems to be the final one, and this is uh, probably, oh, no, it's a raid-based, alliance-based event. Seems pretty easy. Uh, you're doing, let's I should just keep it on this. Raid battle with hive mind character, so raid battle with points. Hive Mind, Void Knight, Gwenum, Red Goblin, all with five to seven yellow stars. So I'll probably break that down as well. Uh, I'm not going to do it in here now. There's going to be more month-long currency. There's some dark promotion credits in there. Actually, I don't know if we'll get down this far, but there is more dark promos down here as well if you happen to be able to do that. So we'll talk about that then. Otherwise, uh, that's about it. Quick rumble with Gamma, it seems. And of course, what everyone... This is, like everything, always subject to change. You never know when things are going to change. Especially, you never know when things aren't going to be the way the charts say. And in-game, it's a little bit different. But, hey oh, that's Marvel Strike Force. And we're kind of used to that, I think, at this point in time. Now, one other thing that I do want to bring up. I think that's almost everything. But, apparently, and I don't have a whole lot to say at this point in time. Just because I don't have the full facts at the moment is, you know, I, I don't know, I was trying to click on my, my player account. But anyways, apparently there's something going around with newer players regarding how fast they're leveling up. And um, we'll find out if there's more news regarding that. You might have seen it on Mobile Gamers video. I think Dorky Dad touched on this a little bit uh, a week ago or so. I don't remember when it was. And we'll maybe hear some more stuff officially about that. 
I don't really have any information about it. I'm not an envoy, but hopefully maybe one of them will. So maybe they'll share a little bit more. If you're curious about that, go check out their videos, uh, especially Mobile Gamers video that he put out the other day. So that's going to be the end of this blog, everyone. I hope you all have a great weekend. There's going to be lots of videos to come over the weekend. And of course, we've got the math and stuff, which we can probably break down now at this point for Sunday morning, not Monday. So you'll probably uh, see it then. So do keep an eye on the channel, ring that notification bell, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can see all the videos when they come out. And that's going to be everything for me. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you all later. Rest in peace, Lord of the Rings, Heroes of Middle-Earth. <laughs> Boylan, signing out.